What's going on guys, Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the coronavirus and specifically, is it worth it for you as a dropshipper to start selling a mask for the coronavirus? So before we go into this guys, please do drop a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you guys already have not done so and also, please do turn on that post notification bell. And lastly, feel free to join my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds. I will be leaving a link in the description below with all my other social media channels as well. We're almost at 2,000 members, so I'm very, very excited. Most likely, I will be doing a giveaway within the group. So, before we even get into this video, and is it worth it to sell the Corona mask? You know, what is a coronavirus, also known as COVID-19? It's basically an infectious disease or a viral disease, basically, that has spread it from China a few months ago, okay? Now, this disease was transmitted from an animal to a human, and now it is able to transfer from human to human. It is airborne, it does stick on surfaces and whatnot, so it is marked as a pandemic. A pandemic is a disease or a viral disease that basically is all over the globe. I believe it's in more than 115 countries. So. For a lot of people, you know, this is devastating. I believe that, you know, there's a few incidents that have been reported in New York City, which is where I reside in, and also my home state in New Jersey, right? So, again, if you just Google coronavirus, you'll find a ton of things about it. In the United States, you'll see from the World Health Organization site where it has been infected as well. Um, but, you know, it has been circulating in animals prior and, um, you, know, you know, now it's infecting humans. Is it deadly? Yes, to some extent. But the bigger question is that there's so much market awareness about the coronavirus itself, you know, that's leading for people to, you know, wanting to protect themselves, right? Because they don't want to get infected. So this is a market trend right now. And, you know, we're going to be talking about is it really worth it to sell the masks, you know, on Facebook advertisements specifically or even on other platforms as well but specifically Facebook ads because that is my bread and butter okay so usually when there's a market trend like a new iPhone release or Valentine's Day right people directly jump on that product they make a one product branded store out of it more than likely at least that's what I do and then they start selling the product because there's so much demand and hype over it okay so again you guys can read about the coronavirus if you guys do want to now you know I've seen dropshippers sell the corona mask all the way as early as february you know i came across a few ads myself um i actually just flew back from boston a few weeks ago um and i did see like almost a fourth or even a third of people i can i can definitely say a third is safe to say of people wearing masks at airports and whatnot because there's so many people going in and out from different states and countries you know it's very easily trans transmittable to other persons. So a lot of people are wearing these masks, even if you go around and, you know, walk around, you know, I live in New York City. So if you walk in Manhattan, it's very densely populated, you know, so there's a ton of people actually wanting to wear a mask and actually protect themselves. Does this mask now prevent from someone getting the virus? No, but it does prevent you from other um, allergens and dust and potential bacteria and germs that can, you know, get somewhere on your face. Okay. So we know that there's a huge demand for it. Even if you come here to Google Trends and if you just type in coronavirus mask, you'll see that from January, you know, there has been a trend and then it kind of went down because there was not a lot of cases. But then from the end of February, there's more and more and more and more and more cases coming out. And, you know, the trend's going up and down. It's staggering, but it's consistently staying over this 50% mark in terms of interest. Even if we move down right here, you'll see related topics, uh, mask, coronavirus, surgical mask, uh, respirator, N95 mask, uh, surgical mask for coronavirus. So a lot of people are looking for this mask, okay? Over here on Google, I put United States because that's where it's most relevant just for you know audience purposes, past 90 days and shopping. So people are, are intentionally searching of these terms, you know, coronavirus, N95 mask to actually purchase it on Google. So you already know there is already awareness for it and there is already demand because who doesn't want to protect themselves, right? They will literally invest anything it takes to literally protect themselves. Even if you go here on eBay watch count, this is one of the sites I use for, uh, you know, product research and validation. By the way, if you do want to check out that video, I will leave a link right there. If you are on mobile or desktop, click on that eye and it will take you to my exact 
part of the research and validation blueprint. But anyway, watchcount.com is a tool I use and you'll see that there's an influx of watchers just looking for surgical masks on a regular day. You know, this is not normal. You know, people aren't looking to buy surgical masks usually. So you'll see that there's a bunch of watchers, you know, even for kids. Um, so, you know, again, this mask is very, very trending, you know, not a specific mask, I would say, but just any mask in general, you know, whether it be a simple cloth mask like this or, you know, something like this, that's like a more kind of filtrated mask as well. Okay, and if we go on AliExpress and just type in coronavirus mask, you'll see that there's also an influx of orders. Uh, I believe this is like the N95 mask, you know, it has different filters and stuff like that. Um, it is a little bit more protective than this regular cloth mask right here, which, you know, which you, you'll see when you go to the doctors or the hospital or something like that. So you'll see there's a ton of suppliers selling this as well. And what's really funny is I actually made a post about it on my group and someone said or someone commented that their supplier actually messaged them on WhatsApp and, you know, they were trying to you know sell one of the, the that person in my group that in, in individual the mask you know kf94 really whatever version it may be um you know he said it's nine point nine dollars and eighty cents per packet and each packet has like two pieces so you can easily sell that for two or three x more but just hold on for just a second okay you also see that if you go to coronavirus mask plus shopify.com or just corona mask plus shopify usually these you know, this search term results in stores that are selling it, you'll see that no one is really selling it anymore. A, a month ago or about five weeks ago, I did this search and I did find a few stores already selling this. Even if you go on Facebook, if you type in coronavirus plus uh, mask or just coronavirus mask, you'll see that there's no really images or videos or anything about this now. And the reason why you don't want to sell this mask anymore, yes, people did capitalize on it quick through Instagram influencers, through Google ads, and also through Facebook, uh, because, you know, it was basically able to sell, right? Now, Facebook has basically put a ban just since a few days, I believe, like earlier this week, uh, probably March 7th or 8th, in advertising these masks. And the reason is, is they don't want people to freak out over the internet. Facebook has over a billion users, or almost two billion users, if I'm incorrect, in multiple countries all over the world. So they don't want people to freak out and, you know, affect their activity on the platform and affect their relationship with the platform as well. Facebook itself has already gotten into massive political debates and troubles and whatnot from the Senate and Congress. So, you know, I don't know about Google so much, but on Facebook and Instagram, you cannot sell this anymore. Okay. So that being said, guys, Yes, this would be a great time to make money. Yes, at the end of the day, it is something that is affecting people. But from a marketer or advertising business standpoint, it is something that would still sell, but you really can't. You know, if you try and go sell it, um, I don't know how Facebook's ad crawler or algorithm really works in detecting certain stuff. Either the mask or the advertisement would, for, you know, would run a few days and then, you know, it just wouldn't sell or in that case, you know, your advertising account may have been banned or your ads may not even get disapproved, you know, from the first um, phase, you know, from the get go, even if you don't use like the word coronavirus or mask or anything about this um, or anything like that, you know, just from the images or the creative, you know, Facebook's algorithm, I'm pretty sure would be able to detect. So guys, be careful, even if your supplier or any other random supplier hits you up on AliExpress, you want to be very, very careful. You know, you don't want to go into this and you don't want to spend your time, money and energy um, and, you know, at the end, see nothing in return. So as of now, I'm not sure where it's going to go in the next few weeks, next few months. I really, really hope, you know, there is a cure. There is a lower case scenario that people are getting infected. Um, but again, if you're drop shipping or if, if you're into e-commerce, you know, definitely do not make a store. It's not worth it. Um, again, Facebook and Instagram has banned it. I'm pretty sure Google has banned it as well. Um, again, I know a few people that have capitalized on this very, very quickly. Good for them. That's great. This was something I was actually looking to sell probably this week because I've been hearing more and more cases, you know, people getting infected and whatnot. But I did do my due diligence and I did ask a few buddies around. So, you know, I'm really glad I made this video for you guys. So, and with that being said, no, it is not worth it or you really can't even sell face masks or coronavirus masks on Facebook anymore. They have banned it. You can see a bunch of other articles. This one's by TechCrunch. Um, but, you know, you can, again, do your due diligence on that. So with that being said, guys, let me know if you guys have any questions. Wanted to keep this video as short and informative as possible. Drop in the comments below questions, thoughts, concerns, anything of that nature. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Again, 
please do drop a huge like on this video. It would mean so much to me, and I'll check you guys out soon. Peace.